Well, hello, everybody. Uh, I know a lot of people have questions about, well, what the hell happened to a few light thoughts? And I know I'm there with you. Um, my first thought was we were going to do this great video show and that was going to get lots of love by the YouTube family. And, uh, and then we were going to just be awesome and great and have millions and millions of episodes. And huh, obviously that didn't happen. Uh, matter of fact, I want to apologize to you for not continuing on with the WrestleMania uh, segments that I was doing leading up to WrestleMania 29, which I thought, for what I saw, was pretty good. But, since uh, Comcast has now finally fixed my internet, I figured, why not try something different? Uh, let's try to do a quote-unquote podcast. Yeah, I know. No crap. Another damn podcast. Why do I need to listen to another one? And I'm just I'm wanting to tell you, basically, um, this podcast, quote unquote, uh, basically that's uploaded on YouTube, which is kind of funny because you're not seeing me, you're actually hearing me. Um, I think will let me actually uh, let me get my voice out so you guys can hear me kind of like back in the days when I was at 91.3 FM WCRD FM Muncie and uh, that way you don't have to look at my face or um, me having to worry about if the camera's just right or anything I love doing the video podcast mind you or the video cast or the broadcast or whatever the hell you want to call it but I feel a little more comfortable being able to sit here in front of a microphone uh, watching the little uh, waves go up and down on the recorder that I'm recording this on. So, um, what I'm wanting to do is instead of doing video casts or YouTube casts or whatever, to try to make it into somewhat of a podcast type situation. So, I hope everybody had a great Memorial Day. Um, I, this is actually being recorded on the Tuesday after Memorial Day. Um, hopefully this will be uploaded either later this evening or maybe even tomorrow. Um, but I thought, you know, like I said, with Comcast actually fixing my internet uh, to where I can now upload at incredible speeds, by the way, um, it'll be easier to do this versus recording a 15 minute video, having to edit, having to put it through Windows Media or uh, live uh, video player or whatever, uh, whatever that gimmick is, and then <clears throat> upload it that way. Excuse me for coughing. So what I want to talk about today, um, just a few things that are on my mind. Um, obviously the show is called If You Light Thoughts. Um, so, here are a few of my light thoughts. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about, um, it's been about three weeks now. Uh, it will be three weeks as of tomorrow uh, since the Comedy Mosh Pit um, closed down. Uh, their show at Be Here Now, here in beautiful Muncie, Indiana, the Garden State of the Western Hemisphere. Now, I know if you follow them on Facebook or follow Be Here Now on Facebook, uh, it kind of, the, the ending show kind of got a little, um, I don't want to say childish, but it got a little heavy handed, um, with, well, this is what happened from our view. This is what happened from our view. And somehow something doesn't mix. I want to bring you a third view of what happened. And for those of you who um, don't know exactly what happened, um, there was a little bit of controversy about how comics were being treated or how um, the guy who was running the show treated the situation, whatever. I want to bring you a third point of view about the whole situation. It's not from the view of the guy who ran it. It's not the view of the place that hosted it. But it was from the view of a person that basically had something to do every Wednesday night thanks to the comedy mosh pit 
and be here now. Um, it, it was kind of my place away from reality. You know, like how most people will say they watch a TV show because um, they can, for a half hour, hour, or two hours, whatever, how long the show is, they can escape from reality. And that's basically what the mosh pit was for me. It was my escape from reality, whether I was having stressful times at work or just something on my mind. It gave me two hours or less um, away from everything in my life. And it was fun. It was great. It was wonderful. It was entertaining. I met some really great people from the experience. And I was I was really sad to see it go, honestly. Now, again, I'm not going to go and pick sides on who was telling the truth, who wasn't telling the truth, whatever. It is what it is. It happened. The, the show's no longer at Be Here Now. Um, I think Kyle admitted uh, that they're going to have a new show under a new name and a new venue, uh, hopefully posted um, by the time you guys hear this, maybe. But it was just a place that I went to enjoy just some good comedy in a town where really the only things that were available to do on Wednesday night was sit at home and watch TV, go to another city to gamble at the casino, go to another city to live their nightlife, or drink at someone's house or someone's dorm or someone's, you know, there wasn't, there isn't really a lot to do in Funcy Muncie, Indiana. And honestly, that's a shame. I really think that's a shame. Um, and I do apologize if I continuously say, um, I'm doing this mostly from the top of my head. I've only got a little sheet of notes here. So, um, I am sad to say that, uh, the mosh pit is no more. Um, and I would like to wish Kyle all the best in the world with his new venture, uh, comedy show wise. And likewise, wish be here now all the best in the world and, uh, finding good quality entertainment to uh, keep people coming in from time to time. So that's all I want to say really about that. So let's get to know me. Um, I know I'm such a fascinating person to talk about. I figure if you've watched the first, I think we did 10 video shows um, of A Few Light Thoughts and uh, and one of them I explained where the concept of A Few Light Thoughts came from. Actually, it was a web blog that I hosted many, many, many years ago. Um, first on, I think it was on Zanga, then it went to MySpace, then it went to a few other places, and then ended up on Tumblr. And I thought, you know what, I'll just go ahead and just do a video show. Uh, and then... <laughs> Just recently, I thought, you know, why not do a podcast or a YouTube podcast or whatever? Um, it seems like it's fun. I've tried this a few times, and like I said, obviously, with uh, my internet capabilities uh, being kind of suckage lately, uh, but it has been fixed. Uh, I hope that in the future there are a lot more great, fantastic podcasts to come. And what I would like is your ideas of what you would want me to talk about. Uh, I, I'm only limited on very few subjects, uh, TV shows. Um, I can tell you the brief history of the founding of the ABC television and radio networks, but that's boring. Um, I am a wrestling fan. Uh, professional wrestling, sports entertainment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I do listen to a few podcasts myself, uh, one being uh, Off the Air with Chick McGee uh, from the Bob and Tom Radio Network. Um, I also listen to the Stone Cold Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin Show, um, which is available online as well. So I started getting into this wrestling show a podcast uh, called The Art of Wrestling with Colt Cabana. It's actually a pretty good show. He has lots of wrestlers on and talks about uh, the old days and how they've 
managed to succeed in the world of professional wrestling slash sports entertainment. Uh, I also listened to um, the guys at the Pro Wrestling Report, uh, David Hero and Damian Nelson, who have been doing the show for 15 years. It's insane to think that they've been able to keep a dynasty of a wrestling show for 15 years. And uh, it's it's highly entertaining, Very a very good show. Uh, definitely, if you are a wrestling fan, one definitely show to listen to. Uh, I believe they are online at pwrshow.com. Um, I also listen to some comedy, uh, podcasts. Like I said, I listen to the Chick McGee one. I also listen to Big Pretty Jim Lugers, uh, with the Big Pretty podcast. You can find that on iTunes, uh, The Art of Wrestling you can find on iTunes, uh, Off the Air with Chick McGee you can find on iTunes, The Stone Cold Steve Lawson Show. I think you have to go to Podcast One. Or it might also be available on iTunes. This podcast, however, is not available on iTunes. Only because I don't exactly know how to do that. So, with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Uh, You know a little bit about me. Like I said, anything else you want to know, please by all means. Uh, King of Mad Props is my Twitter handle. Um, You can also email the show. That's right. Ha ha ha. We have an email address. A few light thoughts at gmail.com. That's a few light thoughts, all one word, at gmail.com. And until next time, we will see you later. I'm sorry. I don't know of another catchphrase to say to end the show. Uh, hasta la vista, baby. Uh, vaya con Dios. Sayonara. Um. We'll see you next time.